Welcome back in the post game. Jeff Blankman joined right now by Aaron Bowman, the head coach for the Kemper Knights. Aaron, I know a disappointing night here tonight. The way this team had been playing, uh, what changed tonight? Have you been able to see it, or, or was it just one of those nights that happens? I think it's just one of those nights. Sometimes you have your <laughs> your off days, and it was especially disappointing because we played so well last mm -hmm. night, and you know we set the bar to a new level. And then tonight, you know, Carroll hits the ball well. They face. D1 pitchers in their conference all the time. So we knew they were going to hit the ball, but you could just see our girls' shoulders sag a little bit. And there's some girls at new positions again uh, because of player absences and such. So anyway, they didn't have that confidence going into tonight, and that, that really hurt them because the balls we could make plays on, then they were back on their heels, and they, they just couldn't get it done. And, and Carol High took advantage and piled on after that, and that's what good teams need to do. You know, so the um, uh, difference between last night and tonight their their confidence got shaken. How do you keep their confidence up? Well, we just said, hey, that you got to remember this feeling of losing so that you don't repeat it. But yet, it's kind of one of those nights you just have to forget about and move on because dwelling on it is not going to improve our team. Our team, our team's strength is our fight and our positivity. And tonight it was tough to show that positivity and fight. So. Um, you just got to remind them of what our small goals are and what we're working towards because this is a building year and everybody knows that. So they just have to keep focusing on the ultimate goal. What were the positives that you took out of tonight's game? Uh, we had Allie Lynch diving in the outfield. That was one positive. We always say we have to be scrappy and get after balls, and, and we came up with a good catch there. Uh, there are a couple other good catches out there in our outfielders, too, were kind of our main positives we talked about because those were things we're working on is our outfielders getting after balls. So I'd say tonight that those were our positives for that. What do you guys look to do in the up, 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 excuse me, upcoming schedule? Oh, we have doubleheader against Creston. So that tonight prepared us for that because Madison Frayne is – uh, another D1 pitcher. <laughs> so, um, you know, we've we've actually been doing really well hitting. Tonight, I think they were just, they were feeling overwhelmed because of Crosstown Rival. and It, mm -hmm. it was just so much pressure. But um, we'll get after it in the batting cage tomorrow, and I pitch some live to them <laughs> if my arm holds up. And I hope we come out ferocious against Madison Frayne because we can, we've proven that we can be a good team when we have it all clicking together. How much have you seen this team improve maybe since the first week of the season? Because oh. I think besides maybe tonight, they're playing really yeah. good softball right now. Yeah, phenomenal. Uh, one of our goals was to be, to be um, if we couldn't be powerhouse pitchers or powerhouse hitters, we were at least controlling our base running. And our base running has just gotten, has just gotten so much better. Um, another positive for tonight, we're drawing throws. And that's mm -hmm. what we want our base runners to do. We can dive back all night long. But we're drawing throws, creating opportunities. So I've seen our base running improve. Um, Girls getting dirty, going after balls. Girls trying new positions. Every single one of them can confidently play two different positions just because we've needed them to this year. And they're just so coachable and positive all the time. I mean, I can't hardly get down because they're always positive. And what role model would I be if I got down? Well, I tell you what, Aaron, uh, I know a tough one tonight, but you guys have done a great job with this team and this program. I want to thank you very much for joining us, and best of luck coming up tomorrow against yeah. Creston. Thank you. Head coach Aaron Bowman with the Cabernets.